How's it guys? Welcome back to a, another video. If you already watched this video of me installing my shut bar, you're probably wondering why I'm re-uploading it. This isn't the way you're supposed to be installing this shut bar. It actually goes in like this. Before we install it this way, the correct way, I just want to explain why I installed it this way. So first off, when I got this in the mail, this ultra racing sticker or the badge, it was, you know, facing this way, the letters like this, which got me thinking, okay, so this is probably how you install the shut bar so that, I, so that, you know, I'll be able to read the badge. Another reason why I did not install it this way is because it's hitting the cow and I was just like, no way it's like, this is the way to install it because everything's just getting in the way. But I was messing with it earlier and as you can see what I'm doing, I'm tucking it under this spot right here. And you just gotta like finesse your way into it. The cow is flexible, so don't worry about, you know, breaking it or damaging it or anything. As you can see, I finesse it in there. All the holes lining up. And yeah, we're just gonna try and finesse this thing down. It does look a lot cleaner this way, as you can see, like, the bar just kind of tucks in there and you're able to access, you know, everything over here, your battery if you need to. Sorry for installing it wrong the first time. Simple mistake, simple fix. Try my best to uh, install this thing. I'm gonna move the spacer back here and then tuck the bar in first. All right, that one's in, that one's in. Put this nut on first. Some thread that I could grab onto. All the nuts are tightened down, hand tight. I mean, it looks like it lines up, guys. The strut bar looks flushed on the outside. It does look like the spacer belongs on this side. Now I'm gonna go around with a torque wrench and do 20 foot pounds of torque. Doesn't look like it's hitting anything. Yep. I'm such a freaking dummy for installing it wrong the first time, but it is what it is. It happens. Simple mistake, as you can see. Simple fix. Right off the bat, uh, it feels a lot more stiff for sure. More precise when turning, yeah, you could feel that it's a lot more responsive, even with just like the slightest turn. Less body roll for sure. Feels good. I don't know how this strut bar compares to the Megan Racing or the Cork Sport, but what I do know is that this strut bar is a one piece design versus the others where it has connecting joints at both ends. Any other strut bar that's a one piece design is what I what I prefer in my opinion um, because you know, obviously it's gonna be more stiff. All right, so this is gonna be the end of today's video. Sorry again for installing it wrong the first time. I will be posting more videos in the future, so please consider subscribing uh, just so you don't miss a video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.